Hey everyone. So a few days ago, I finally finished Yoshi's Woolly World. I figured Yoshi's Crafted World is gonna come out, so I wanted to finally finish this because I really love this game, and I was like in like World Five Seven or something already. And this made me think, like people could be like, dude, how are you only just now finishing Yoshi's Woolly World? This game is from like two thousand like fourteen or some shit like that. I have no idea what this game from. Oh, 15, I was close. And then I'm like, yeah, you can say that, but it's been 30 plus years, and I'm still struggling with shit like this. So, some gamers simply amass a giant backlog, and I was like, you know what? I want to make a video about this, because I'm honestly interested in what you guys have to say about this stuff. Now there's of course many reasons why people amass like giant backlogs and it's different for everybody which is why I wanted to make this video. I figured like, do you guys have giant backlogs? Is there any couple of games you're still playing, you know? And I was going to go over this video over like my reasons as to why I still have such a massive backlog. And the first reason, it's kind of obvious to me. I'm a collector. I'm a retro gamer, I still get the exact same enjoyment in playing like a random NAS game as I do playing uh, a random Switch game. It doesn't change anything to me how old the game is, plus I'm a collector, but I'm the type of collector who's a gamer before anything else. I play everything, I want to play everything. So when you have like 30 plus years of game collections laying around, it's like you're bound to not finish a couple of these games. A big reason of this, for me personally, is that I play a lot of games at the same time. I play a lot of games at the same time. For example, currently, actively, I'm playing Skyrim and Borderlands 2 still and Hollow Knight on Steam. On the PlayStation 4, I'm playing a lot of Overwatch, I'm playing Darksiders, I'm playing Need for Speed Payback. On the Switch, currently, I'm playing a lot of, like, Xenoblade, Rocket League, because I switched Rocket League over from PC, because I prefer the handheld sometimes for Rocket League. And Battle Chasers and Octopath Traveler. So you see, all in all, I play a lot of games at the same time, always actively. The reason I do this is because... Sometimes I feel like diving really deep into an incredible RPG and sometimes I just want to mindlessly race through some landscapes or some shit, you know? It, it always depends. I want to have a game ready for every single mood. If I want to like just fucking shoot some fucking guys in like Borderlands or go on some fucking epic quest in Skyrim. If I want to like follow a story like Darksiders that I've been waiting so many years for, you know? The, if I feel like smooth gameplay, whatever. I have something for everything. When you do this, you play so many games at the same time, it's like, if you play one game, you know, let's say you have a, level, like a speed progression, you know, like game completion is over here, you know, and you go like this. But when you play a lot of games at the same time, that goes a lot slower. And then, that is the obvious reason that adds to that fact of playing so many games. There is so much shit coming out, and you've already seen, I'm like a multi-console owner, you know? I have everything, you know, like, like Microsoft shit, I have like PlayStation, Nintendo, I have everything, I game on everything. Not do I just game on everything, I game on every generation. So there's so much shit coming out all the time. Let's use a very simple example where I was like, oh wait, this is getting a bit too much, you know? Which is funny, actually. 2017, the Switch launch. In 2017, we had a period where we got Fire Emblem Warriors. A couple of weeks after that, 
We got Super Mario Odyssey. A couple of weeks after that, we got fucking Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now, I'm sorry. Something like Fire Emblem. I love Warriors games, but this is something you like can play a bit more mindlessly, but you put so much time into this because these games are like jam packed with content. And you're playing this, and then Mario Odyssey comes out. Come on, a new 3D Mario game? It looks gorgeous. And I'm like, okay, let me put Fire Emblem on hold. I gotta play the new Mario game. Come on, so you're playing the new Mario game. You're coming close to the end. Bam! A fucking massive, perfect RPG launches. Obviously, you know, you're switching to this. That's how it goes. No, and this is just the switch in a period of like two months or some shit, you know. So you can imagine when you have three massive games like this, not even taking into account that you're a multi-console owner and a retro gamer, that's just this fucking pile of shit that just fucking piles up and it's absolutely fucking garbage. You can't keep up with that shit. So yes, that is why... Only a couple of days ago, I finally finished Yoshi's Woolly World. Something I do when I play video games, it depends on the games. Um, good examples of this are Xenoblade Chronicles 2, for example. Um, actually, Yoshi's Woolly World is a good example of this too. Games like Zelda, Skyrim, Borderlands 2, a lot of games... Um, I play these games, but I don't just want to complete these games. I just start somewhere, where is my way to the finish, that's it, finish the game, another game on my list. No, I don't do that shit. I like, read the books in Skyrim. I read the lore in Hollow Knight. When I play Borderlands 2, I do all the side quests, all the side missions. I look around in Breath of the Wild, all the landscapes, the sunset. And uh, like I do this in every, in almost every single game where this is like possible. Even games where you're like, dude, why are you looking around so much in this game? I still do that. I get so invested in these worlds. I try to fight every little side quest, every little like side quest, you know, every little fucking collectible. I do all this shit, and because you do that, you're playing the game so intensely for such a period of time. At one point, you're like, okay, I gotta move on to a different game for a bit now. And bam. You add another fucking game to your list. It's just fucking insane. So, I don't know how you people get rid of your backlogs. But I started something this year because shit is going insane. Because I already game this way. So many games, so many systems, so many years. And then I also play a lot of, not a lot, but I play online games. Shit like Rocket League, Smash Brothers. What's the other one? Overwatch recently a lot. And it's like, these games literally don't go anywhere. It's a loop. You're playing it because you like playing it non-stop all the end. It doesn't stop the game. It doesn't have a progression system. You don't clear your stories or even less. The massive RPGs like this, these games, you're just wasting time in them, so to speak, you know. And that's something I want to stop. So I'm, for this year, I stopped playing. I didn't stop. I still play Smash, but like... I basically stopped playing Rocket League for now. I just, I played it a little while ago and I was like, I really need a break from this. And I still play Smash because I like it. <laughs> and I still play Overwatch because I can finally start it, but I decided to play these games a lot less. And to really start focusing on these single player experiences that I've had on my list for so long. And I just, I, I need to fucking focus myself. I need to get like through some of these, because I love video games and I love these games and I love these stories. So I got a one. Stop focusing so much on online games. Two, stop fucking dilly-dallying and, and looking at the fucking sunset for like half an hour in a video game. Because I actually do that shit, you know. And maybe in a side quest, you know. Don't look at the sky too much in a side quest and race a bit more to the side quest. You know, spend less time on missions so that I don't get bored of the games that easily. And, like what I did for Woolly World, I need 
focus. I need to focus. So, I want to try to focus on specific games at the same time, you know. Like, I start out, okay, what are the games I really want to finish right now? I really want to put my time in. And just try to, like, all these games I was playing, cut it in half, focus on less games, and put more time in those games. So, currently, there's three games I want to focus on. I just finished Woody World. Like, put me in this very massive Wii U atmosphere. So I wanted to add another Wii U game on my list to finish. The three games I'm currently going to focus on. And one of them is an absolute masterpiece. I love it. It is scary. It is gorgeous. It is amazing. It uses the gamepad perfectly. And I just still haven't finished it. I was still playing this game. So that's going on my list for sure. It's Project Zero. Well, I mean, it's Project Zero for the normal people. For half the world, it's Fatal Frame. Project Zero is a gorgeous horror game. It has a beautiful setting, these dark, misty woods with these scary fucking looking ghosts. And the character design is amazing. I love the characters. Like, it's a beautiful fucking Wii U game. It is a must own Wii U game. And I love this game. But again, so much shit started coming out that it just got pushed back. So now, I'm putting this shit back on my list instantly. Second game, I've showed this already a lot of times. It is seriously like one of my favorite RPGs. It's top 10 greatest RPGs ever made, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I did not like Xenoblade Chronicles X for many reasons, and this game fixed all of those mistakes. I love this game. I think it's beautiful. I'm invested in these characters. The music is absolutely fucking perfect. The battle system is actually addictive. I love grinding in this game. I like all the side quests. There's so much to do. There's shit to discover all over the world. You're not just fighting all the time. And I just love this game. The only reason this got pushed back, again, is the Switch in the beginning got so much shit, so many ports, so many games, so many new things that it just got again push back because it's too much shit and then you start playing something else even if it's something less interesting you still start to focus on it so now Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is back on my list and the third game is something I didn't push back yet but it is something that is not part of the half I'm shoving away fuck no because I'm waiting too long for this and I'm really far in the game already at this point Darksiders 3 I love this game. The way like the previous game was like a love letter to Legend of Zelda and stuff. Here you have like a lot of elements of the first Darksiders incorporated in that again. And the gameplay is perfect for me. Like it, it, it feels great like handling Fury the way she's so agile and acrobatic. And they added to that the slower battle system of the first Darksiders making it a bit harder. But the lore is there, the character design, the music is absolutely perfect and I just, I'm still having a lot of fun with this and I'm still playing this and it is, like the story is getting so intense at this point where I am and absolutely love it. So yeah, less games, more focus, Xenoid Chronicles 2, Project Zero and Darksiders. That went in the wrong order. So tell me, I'm actually curious, do you have a backlog and why? Like I said, I'm a retro gamer and shit. Games like the New Zealand story, which again, for some part of the world, it's called Kiwi Craze. The New Zealand story on the NES, for example, is a game I've been trying to finish for over 30 goddamn years. Some games are just hard. There's too much shit and everything, and I need my focus. That's the idea, you know? It's like I said, stop spending, wasting so much time in a like, side quest. Like Woolly Wolf, for example, I didn't just finish this. I 100%ed the shit out of this. And I like focused hard on that. You know, when I wanted to play a game, I was like, let me play some Smash. No, fuck Smash, Yoshi's Woolly World. And that's how I gotta do it if I wanna finish more games. And this year, that's how I wanna focus. I'm playing a lot less Overwatch, barely any Rocket League. I'm still playing Smash because I like it, but it doesn't get priority. That's what you need. You need priority and focus and all that shit. Because like I said, there's so many like absolute masterpieces that you don't want to push back, but it happens. And that's the thing, it just stop letting it happen. So let me know. Do you have a backlog? What do you do to fix this issue? If anything. <sighs> Man, some people have it good. I'm here like just in my examples. I've got like PlayStation 4, I got the 8-bit, I got like Switch and Wii U and all that shit, like I said, everything on the PC I was talking about, like, you know, sometimes when you don't set boundaries on gaming consoles, when you don't let 
stuff like, oh no, this game is only like 59 frames per second. If you don't let shit like that bother you, man, there's so many fucking adventures out there and I just want to complete more adventures because there's nothing like that feeling when you finally complete a game. Focus. Let me know how you guys do this shit. Thank you guys for watching and stay real. Thank <laughs> you.